is that Julien is or was everywhere in New York, right? Uh, well, he just showed this piece that we're, a version of this piece that we're showing here at the Armory at the Whitney. We, he, it's called Sachi's Never Die. It was commissioned by the Sharjah Biennial and the Barnes Foundation. And um, they showed the five screen version at the Whitney Biennial. We're showing the two screen version here with some related photographs. And uh, he's also showing at MoMA at the moment. He has two different works up there, uh, Lessons of the Hour which is a multi-screen um, installation and also looking for Langston, which is in the MoMA collection. And why is that Julien important? Good question. He's important because he's been um, looking at issues which are particularly relevant to the art world now, but he's been doing it for like 30, 40 years. And I think, I think the rest of the art world is now kind of catching up to these themes. For instance, in the, in the installation of Statues Never Die, uh, he's really looking at this kind of conversation between Alain Locke from the Harlem Renaissance and um, Barnes from the Barnes Collection of Philadelphia, where they discuss the importance of African icon iconography in the Western canon. Now, these are issues that Isaac's looked at. Forever. But, also, but now it seems so relevant to yes. the to the discussion that's happening in the. But he also has uh, an aesthetic, right? Yes, he has a very strong aesthetic as, a, strong. as a filmmaker, as a filmmaker. Yes. And he's always been interested in deconstructing film and finding ways of exploring narratives from different perspectives. And I think having the multi-screen installations that he does allows him to do that. And also the fact that he has an aesthetic, not only a discourse, a political discourse, make it easier to sell, right? Well, he has both, which is great. Because some people have one or the other, but I think he, you know, obviously the content and the, and the socio-political dimension of the work is extremely important to him. Because now we are in a more difficult period, commercially. Uh, for some people. <laughs> we've, we've had a great season. Isaac's had a great year. You know, he had a his retrospective at Tate last year, which which then travelled to Dusseldorf and Maastricht. And uh, his work has been doing extremely well commercially. Merci.